Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are gonna um, make the hitboxes for our um, combat system. And yeah, but first I wanna fix a little issue. Um, that we um, have. And that we um, shouldn't be able to unequip our sword when we are uh, stunned or uh, currently attacking so you can uh, just go to your weapons service uh, service script and then um, up here or like general not just for equipping but also for un uh, equipping and unequipping so you can just go here like then do local um, attacking <coughs> equal to character get achieved attacking so local stunt equals character get attitude stunt and if attacking or stunt then return and okay we just had to fix this real quick then <clears throat> we are already gonna um, prepare something for the module we are uh, about to use and that is um oops and that is um, that you need to um, get out your weapons, uh, both your weapons, and uh, put them in, have them in the workspace so you can see them. And now we're gonna add some attachments to them. So I'm pretty much gonna just speed this process up. But to make my uh, stuff also a bit more organized, I'm just gonna add an invisible part to um, my weapon make turn everything like off just for keeping everything a bit more clean I would just add a folder but you can't add attachment attachments to folders so yeah um, I'm gonna yeah just make it at the metal part of my sword like you know the part that would hurt someone if they touched it um, and in my part now uh, I'm just gonna call this attachments holder it doesn't matter what you call it but also make sure to weld it to your main weapon and uh, maybe yeah, with a motor 60 or something like that or don't even have to use the motor 60 you can just use whatever you want um, and then you want to add attachments and we name this attachment to damage point and um, yeah this is the points where you can um, hit enemies like if enemies touch this they're gonna get damage uh, you can turn them visible to better see them it's one of the properties but yeah just do that for both your weapons and then we can continue. Okay, and if you have done that, um, okay, and yeah, if you do more, it's uh, gonna be a, a little bit more uh, precise but yeah and then you can pre pretty much just make them invisible again if you had them visible and then drag both of your swords back to um, where they belong make sure to delete the old ones and now um, we're gonna use a handy module that's um, called um, wait a second Reckless Hitbox this uh, I'm gonna link this um, post in the description but this is basically a type of hitbox um, it's pretty good explained here you can read the article for yourself like it's um, the game features yeah -time attack, something like this pretty much so kind of just really um, realistic hitboxes for your weapons and we're gonna use this 
Um, in this post you want to scroll down until you see this link. Then you want to get this module. And then you can go into your toolbox, um, onto your own models and search for it here. And then you can just add this to your game. And we are actually um, gonna go into our modules folder here. And we are gonna create a new folder that is uh, gonna be our hitboxes. And in that hitbox folder, we're gonna drag our Rekas hitboxes. In that module, you can also find some um, stuff like show debug ray lines. These are like ray li uh, red lines that are gonna be shown. You can turn this off and you can also turn off the um, output messages. I'm gonna leave this true for now though. Okay. Now let's create a new module that is for, um, yeah, hits. That is gonna be our hit service module. So, so in here, but not in the hitbox uh, folder, but in the modules folder, we're gonna create a new module script and that's gonna be our hit service. And in that hit service, we are gonna um, write some code. Okay, and then in our hit service module, we um, want to um, actually create a new function and that is gonna be our um, yeah normal hitbox function. So we can just do module dot module dot normal um, normal hitbox hit and we are gonna get our player here, our character, our weapon, or actually, yeah, yeah, okay, actually, yeah, uh, our weapon, our hitbox, and our damage. Okay, damage, not that, da not damage. Um, okay, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, okay. So now, um, let's do then hitbox dot on hit. That's a function of the Raycast hitbox. Connect function. <coughs> then uh, we are gonna <coughs> receive hit here, and if hit dot parent uh, find first child humanoid and hit dot parent does not equal uh, to our character then we want to get our enemy character that would just be hit dot parent then we also want to get uh, the, our humanoid enemy you know that is e character find first child humanoid then let's also get their uh, um, humanoid root part that is just um, e character dot humanoid root part okay I'm also already gonna say we're not gonna use everything uh, already here some stuff is just for the next parts um, but yeah okay um, then e humanoid take damage and we're just gonna do 10 damage for now. We're not gonna <coughs> actually use this uh, but we're gonna, as I said we're gonna use this later. And then uh, we actually need some stuff up here because we want to also stop our enemies animations when we um, hit them. So we need our server commit module. So we can just uh, get um, our replicate storage so services um, we can actually just I guess copy this from from here <coughs> just copy this okay and then we can do 
server commit module uh, dot stop animations for our e humanoid. Okay. Now we still need to uh, script something in our commit server down here. And that is the, uh, yeah, the hitbox stuff. So uh, let's go up here. We, start, we first will need to require uh, the Rekas hitbox. So, and the hit service module. But let's get the hit service module first. So local hit service module equal to require um, service storage modules dot hit service. And then our local raycast hitbox equal to require ss modules dot hitbox hitboxes dot raycast hitbox for version 4. Okay, then go uh, about here and we are gonna have this little separate section just to make this more clear so uh, here we're gonna create our hitbox and that is local hitbox equals to recast hitbox and recast hitbox there and dot new so we're gonna create our uh, new hitbox and that is for our character's weapon. So, because the character is, uh, the weapon is inside of our character, we can just do character and then get current weapon. And that is basically just like this our character. And then character get current weapon is basically getting this weapon then. And from there on, it's gonna search everything that's, uh, ev every attachment that's named damage point. That's basically how this uh, module works. Then if we have our hitbox created, we already created this in some parts earlier and now we can finally use it. So then, um, okay, it was already suggesting it. Then we can just do hitbox dot, um, not dot, um, colon hit start. Here we are gonna, well, yeah, start the hitbox. And then here, uh, at our hit end event, we can do hitbox hit stop, and that pretty much stops the hitbox. And we can also stop the hitbox when our swing animation ends, in case we got like hit earlier or something like that. And then just like down here, we can do hit service module dot normal hitbox um, hit, and we can just send our character, uh, our player, our character our current weapon and our hitbox through. Okay. Um, actually, we can actually just remove the damage for now. Yeah. But now, I need to just do one more thing because we're stopping the ani uh, animations with uh, the animator of the humanoid. Make sure that all of your dummies have an animator inside of them or it's gonna error. So just add an animator to your dummies if they don't have one. Every player already has one automatically, so don't worry about that. Okay, then now let's actually try it out. Hopefully we don't get any errors. So if we pull out our sword, you can see this is the actual hitbox. And now if we, okay, I should probably turn on the hitbox, uh, so you can, uh, yes, uh, turn on the health bar, I mean. So if you don't have that, you can just um, turn this on in the properties of the humanoid. And now let's try it out again. But hitboxes already uh, seem to work. Yep, and they also do damage. Okay, this is pretty good. Um, if they're kind of inconsistent, um, you can try changing your animation a little bit, or just uh, making more at adding more attachments to your weapon. Okay, and that should also work for our other weapon, so we can just quickly change it. Mm, we're also gonna do in later episodes let our player change his weapon in game, 
but that's not something for now. Okay, and yep, it also uh, works for this weapon. And that's, yeah, perfect. Uh, yep. And we, yeah. Cool, okay. That's, that's pretty good. Uh, we are just gonna polish this like in the next episodes, but this what this was it for now. Next episodes are probably just gonna use our effects module that we already had some episodes before, and also gonna add some sounds. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching, um, and have a great day. See ya.